In this video, I'll teach you how to play the gunner in Deep Rock Galactic so you don't end up like this. I'll go over the roles gunner has, with the best weapons and perks to use, as well as some bonus tips at the end. Now, what exactly does the gunner do? Your main task as gunner is to keep the enemies occupied and your team safe. The gunner can absolutely demolish any enemies in its path, especially compared to the three other classes. Because of this, when there is a big swarm or powerful boss, the gunner is the one who stands at the front lines to protect the team. Gunners are practically essential in harder missions or deep dives for this very reason, as they provide a rate of firepower that the other classes could only dream of. The zip lines and the shield that the gunner carry also help out the team a ton, especially in dire situations where one wrong move could end everything. Because of this, it's important you understand the weapons in the gunner's arsenal and how to use them properly. The gunner's primary weapons consist of the minigun, heavy autocannon, and guided rocket system. Of these, my favorite being the autocannon. This is because it's able to achieve high damage very quickly and has lots of upgrades and overclocks to make it useful both at long and close range. The minigun is a great starting weapon with lots of great overclocks, however a bit basic when compared to the autocannon. The guided rocket system is an amazing choice for enemies with greater health but suffers close range or with swarms. For the secondaries, the gunner uses the heavy revolver and the burst fire gun. The burst gun works quite well, however I do prefer the revolver for the secondary as it's similar to a desert eagle where the good accuracy is rewarded with crisp headshots. His special weapon is the zipline launcher, which is used to shoot out a zipline that can span a great distance but can't go super high vertically. These are most helpful when the entire team needs to move somewhere or you need some safe space while fighting a horde. The shield generator is the gunner's second piece of equipment, which basically drops down a shield that protects you and your teammates from bugs for a short amount of time. This is most useful when reviving a teammate or protection during a heavy swarm. As for grenade selection, the gunner can choose from the sticky grenade, which sticks to services and enemies, incendiary grenade, which creates a fiery explosion, and the cluster grenade. I prefer using the cluster grenade as it launches several mini grenades after initial impact, which can damage or kill multiple bugs at the same time. As for passive perks, I recommend using Born Ready, which automatically reloads weapons that aren't used for five seconds, Resupplier, which is used to resupply and reload your weapons faster, and Friendly, which reduces friendly fire damage overall. For active perks, I prefer using Heightened Senses, which tells you if you're about to be grabbed by something like a Magterra or a Cave Leech, and the Shield Link to boost teammate's shield when you're close together. As the gunner, you should always try to be one of the last ones standing. With your zip line and shield generator, you're able to revive teammates under very critical conditions fairly easily. Don't be afraid to find different purposes for your equipment. For example, the zip line can be used for transportation, but also can be used as another vantage point during a defense, uh, like an upload or something. Be careful where you're shooting and throwing grenades. As the gunner, your arsenal of grenades and bullets are very powerful, and if you don't watch where you're aiming, you will end up downing your teammates at least once. Although at first glance, the gunner may seem like a very easy and maybe even boring class to play compared to the other three, the gunner's arsenal is quite fun to use. You are the one whose main goal is killing bugs and protecting your fellow dwarves to bring the team to success. If you enjoyed the video or have any other gunner class tips, leave them in the comments below for myself and others to see. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.